Fayum is one of the oldest cities located inside of Egypt and is around 100 kilometers southwest from the capital of Egypt, Cairo. It's known for its beautiful location and having many cool historic areas. From ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics to dinosaur stones, this city clearly has had its fair share of historic events in its land. What's even more beautiful is the people living so simply. Lots of main citizens of Fayum live in the desert with a very ecological lifestyle. They do not use much electricity and live life mostly in nature. They absolutely have their own culture and the way of viewing life and that in itself is quite beautiful. And until today, people of Fayum still practice their ancestral teachings and proudly live by it day to day. After a two hour long drive, we arrived at 11 p.m. at night and surprisingly, almost everything was still open. After 30 minutes of being lost in the middle of the desert, we finally got to our eco-lodge. The people there welcomed us instantly and even fed us. I then found a man from Fayum making a fire to keep us warm in the midst of the chilly desert. The morning after, we woke up to the beautiful sunrise and the natural sound of the birds chirping. We found a group of kids outside of the eco lodge wanting to sell handmade shell necklaces they made for tourists. <laughs> So due to their hard work and determination, we decided to buy a necklace from them and because they were kind during interviewing them. We then decided to go to Wadi Rayan. It is located in the middle of the desert in Fayum. This waterfall is a combination of two freshwater lakes that combined to become this famous waterfall and has no end to it. It is officially the largest waterfall in Egypt and is quite famous by the name of it. This place really did bring a calming aura to the area. Although it was March and the sun was very strong, the waterfall gave a lovely breeze to the air which made us enjoy every minute of it. Before we left Wadi Rayan, we even decided to say a quick hello to these beautiful animals. Right after that, we decided to go to Wadi Al-Hitan. Wadi Al-Hitan is known to be the Valley of Wales. The reason why this place is very essential is because it shows a major puzzle to evolution of animal species, mainly whales. Most of the fossils in the area are mainly intact, making it the perfect location for paleontologists worldwide. Wadi al-Hitan is considerably one of the most important sites worldwide due to seeking the form of evolution in the animal kingdom, not only for whales but other animals too, such as sharks, crocodiles, turtles, sawfish and even stingrays. Some of the animal's stomach parts are even in, still intact with the fossils due to how well the preservance of these fossils are. The largest skeleton that was found was a whale that was 21 meters in length with barely any erosion. It truly is astonishing how this was all a huge body of water that slowly vanished throughout time and ended up with many sea creatures, bones on land. <laughs>
After Wadi al Hitan, we decided to take a ride to the Magic Lake and we found these random kids in the middle of the desert. ايوه ها اوكي طب لو البنت مثلا فعلا طلعت اكتر من البيت اكتر من ساعتين ايه الغلط في كده من جوزها ولا من ابوها ابوها We found these Fayumi kids in the middle of the desert and they wanted to head to the magic lake too. So they insisted on riding in the trunk until they told us the direction to the magic lake. The reason why it was named the magic lake is because depending on the hour of the day, it changes colors from blue to green and then yellow. It may look like the common lake, but it sure does have different colors and is clearly seen when you sit there. When I sat on the boat, I looked next to me and the water seemed quite green. But then when I put my camera far away to film the lake, it seemed dark blue. This is Goma, a 22-year-old man who was born and raised in Fayoum, lives alone with his goats, his dogs, and his little cute ducklings. So we decided to take a break from all the interviews and have a little fun. We went sandboarding. Show us what you got, Nada. Our final stop was the pottery workplace. In Nahit al Jogl Ka Sit Fifayum, Mish Marufa. After the short interview with Nala, she decided to teach me how to do some pottery work. Later that night, we decided to go sit with some Bedouins in the middle of the desert. They invited us for some very delicious lemongrass tea. 
We then ate traditional Bedouin food, which consists of chicken, cow, and camel meat. The process of cooking in the desert is to dig a hole in the sand, put lots of charcoals, add a pan with the food, and a lid at the top of the pan, and bury it under the sand for a complete hour, and it comes out perfectly cooked. It was finally time to leave Fayoum, this beautiful city in Egypt.